get ready for some emoji DIYs. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah from So Craftastic and today is my birthday! Woo! In this video, I'm going to show you how to make some easy emoji themed treats and table decor such as these handmade felt bows and magical unicorn cupcakes! Wee! If you never want to miss a video from me, please click that button down there to subscribe to my channel. Also, if you enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And now let's party! I'd like to cordially invite you all to my emoji themed birthday party and show you a few ways to throw your very own. So get ready for some treats and table decor in 3, 2, 1, mangoes! For the first tree, I purchased some fresh sliced mangoes from my local grocery store and with a sharp knife, I'm carefully chopping those pieces into even tinier chunks of fruit. Arrange these in a single layer on a round plate like this to make up the face shape of an emoji. I'm creating the one with the heart eyes, so I'm also going to slice a red apple and use a heart shaped cookie cutter for the next step. Third, pour some candy melts or chocolate chips into a microwave safe container. Put them in the microwave for about 30 seconds at a time until they melt completely. Now I have a circle cookie cutter placed on some wax paper and am pouring the hot melted chocolate inside. I placed that in the fridge for a few minutes to harden then popped the shape out. Slice it in half and you have a perfect smiling mouth. This treat would be really easy to create for every guest at your party and it's fairly healthy as well. This next project is inspired by the beautiful bow emoji. To make one you'll need some felt, a pair of scissors, and a hot glue gun. Cut out two thin rectangles that are the same size. The bigger you make them, the bigger your bow will be, of course. Fold one piece in half, then cut off the two corners on that folded edge along with a triangle from the other side like this. You'll also need a thin strip of felt for later. I just went ahead and pinched the middle of this rectangle and now I'm gluing the tail to that. All that's left to do is glue and wrap a thin piece of felt around the middle and trim to make the top pieces shorter if you wish. To attach the bows to a glass, use string or yarn and simply tie the bow around the stem. Now fill them up with any drink of your choice. Bow beautiful. If you happen to have a dry erase board, don't forget to spice that up for your event. This is a trimmer rim which you might recognize from a video that I posted in the past. I'll link that below. As you can see, I created an emoji border for mine. It's really colorful. If you give these as party favors, you and your friends can all decorate them together as a party activity. Moving on to these really easy napkin rings, use some cardstock paper and cut that into a thin piece. Now roll it and add glue to one end. Once that's attached, use a clothespin to hold it together while it dries. I'm cutting out a couple of smiley face stickers and taping them onto the rings. This way, your guests will actually be able to use their stickers. Roll up any napkin and place it inside. These can be used again and again, but if they do get ruined, it's so quick and easy to make new ones. So if any of you know who Sheldon and Amy are and why I chose these emojis for them, you are amazing. Okay, so they're probably not actually coming to my party, but this is an example of some place setting tags that you can create for each guest who attends your event. Finally, I saved my absolute favorite project for the end. Unicorn cupcakes. I'm using box cake mix because it's really quick to make, but you can of course use any homemade recipe for white cake that you want. Divide the batter evenly into a few different bowls. I'm going to have three colors and leave the batter in the big bowl plain white. 
Mix in some icing color or food coloring to each bowl and stir it well so there's no white streaks. Then you'll want to add that colored batter to cupcake liners one spoonful at a time. Alternate the colors as much as possible and fill it up about two thirds of the way. It'll go by a bit more quickly if you do one color at a time like this or get someone to help and make it a team effort. After that, bake according to the instructions on the box or your recipe and check them often to make sure they don't burn. Once the cupcakes are completely cool, grab some frosting and sprinkles and decorate them however you want. I used a star tip to get this kind of deco done looking effect. If you guys have ever made phone cases like that, you would know what I'm talking about. Now I'm going to create horns by using bugles. Dip each bugle into melted chocolate and let them dry upright on wax or parchment paper. You can even make them sparkly with pearl dust, but this is optional. Now place one on each cupcake and you have some lovely unicorn inspired dessert. By the way, you could also use fondant for the horns, which is basically edible clay made for food. It's totally up to you. Thank you guys so much for watching and celebrating my birthday with me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. To see even more emoji DIYs and my pastel party decorations from last year, go ahead and check out that I button up there in the corner. Just click it and a bunch of videos will come down. So yeah, if you want to see those, just check them out and they'll also be linked in the description box below. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Don't forget to check out all my social media links in the description box, such as Instagram. And if you want to see what I'm up to for my party later, you can follow me on Snapchat and Instagram and Twitter and all that. I'll try to post pictures and updates for you guys. Love you all so much, and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye. Whoa. Can I balance it? Okay, if you fall, I'll be. I'm so gymnastic. Go right there. That was over the top. <laughs>